Hi guys, this is Dr. Honda. On several occasions I've been asked to show how to manual start an old style air start engine. So I thought I would make this small video to help you guys out. Here is my trusty AT180. Uh, it's an early uh, US Microjets or uh, AMT, whichever you prefer. 180. Uh, she's putting out about 18 pounds right now. Um, this originally should have been started with a big scuba bottle and a big umbilical cord and their auto start system and all that. I'm going to show you how to start these older engines basically like a glow engine. So you'll need your normal stuff, your propane. If you have a data terminal of some sort it definitely helps out. Always keep your fire extinguisher handy for all you new guys. Um, and then basically uh, you're going to use a glow driver just like with your glow engine. This is a 12 volt blower that I bought off of eBay for probably 10 bucks. Wired it into a four cell LiPo. Um, hopefully we've got enough charge in it. Um, you can see the tape is there just to block off part of the port because of the way this fuselage is designed. Um, other than that, the starting procedure <coughs> is the same as an ECU is going to do it. We're going to use the blower to start to spin the turbine with the glow driver on. We're going to pull the air away a little bit. We're going to introduce a little propane, hope for the ignition. Once we get an ignition, we put more air on the engine. We turn up the propane slowly. Um, you don't want to do it too fast because you can over temp the engine. And that's where the data terminal comes in handy. You can watch that. Um, as the engine spools up, uh, we can take off our glow driver. Um, when it comes up to full ramp, we turn off our propane. By that time, the ECU should have corrected for it, and uh, we should be running at that point. Um, also, once you get up to full spool, you can take your air away. The hammer's just so nothing rolls away on this demo. Okay. No matter what kind of engine you have, you should know at least how to, before attempting to start it, you should at least know how to get it on and get it ready. These old AMT engines require you to go through the setup each time to get a ready signal. So now we're ready. AMTs use a separate kill switch. Uh, the more modern ones generally just use the trim. So now we're ready. If you have a manual fuel valve, and in the USA you have to have one, make sure your fuel's on. Basically we're going to put the glow on it, hit it with some air, start to introduce the propane, and it's cold out right now, it's just barely above freezing in Pennsylvania. Um, so it may be hard to get that to pop, but once you hear it pop, you can basically get the air on it full, start turning up the propane, and it should be ready to go. One last step on these older engines, since they don't have a starter to cool them down with, you usually want to keep the blower handy just to get a little, little air through them so you don't cook the bearings. But on a day like today, 
really don't even need it. This is Dr. Honda. I'll see you on the chat board.